Hey everybody, welcome to Cruise Control, and uh, this is Oxenfree. Uh, I've been hearing about this in kind of my social circles, and uh, people seem to kind of be raving about it, and uh, I watched Patrick Klepik's little worth playing video on it, and it looked cool, so I uh, figured what the hell, I'll play this on the channel. It so used Night to be a military base. Studio. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing, and a museum, or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Okay. Alex? Hey, still with us? Oh. I haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. All right, we're jumping right in. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, interested. I... My mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not... not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> I don't wanna know what happened. Okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Ah, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. How could you forget well, that? Well, at least you seem cool, right? Oh, whatever. Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I uh... yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. Are you gonna steal me some drugs? So... How I feel like two know we're teenagers, other? I think. Oh, from way we're back probably when, into the like drugs. Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual. Okay, that, that's creepy. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? Yeah, don't be a it's creeper, man. Right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Ugh, Check you disgust me. To make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. What? Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. Well, that's... And it's Jonas? Not That's Jonah. a little meta? Yeah. Okay. Hey, like Jonas wait up, Salk. guys. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. All right, let's pose. Take your stupid dumbass selfie thing, They're whatever. Great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Warts? I don't hey, fucking Alex, warts. You brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Uh, I won't radio. radio. That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy, the, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? So yeah, well, I have a moment here, I'll, I'll keep doing the intro. It kind of just jumped around. Uh, yeah, I, I heard about this game, I heard it was kind of sort of a light adventure game, light puzzle game, kind of narrative focused, uh, kind of a mixture of, like, Telltale games and, like, LucasArts games and... And then apparently it's a little spooky. We got kind of a ghost story thing going on. I'm not sure what's in store, but I'm excited. So let's uh, pull up my radio here. Uh, oh, trigger. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. That the basketball team training staff was repeatedly forced by Wheeler to take some It's, uh, pay to the left of the dial? Hey, I'm trying to listen. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to listen. If we miss it, I'll never hear the end of it from her. Okay, fine. Jesus. 
which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the so we're a bunch of teenagers and we're going to a carrots. beach vacation. And I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Everything's That's gonna be awesome. fine. I hope Just Christina, fine. With her talent show judge face was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll what? See. Oh god, what are you hiding? Why does every video game have a character that's hiding bullshit? Man, what is this? Life is strange. We got hipster teenagers. We got photographs. We got dialogue choices. Is this going to be really depressing? I like that art style, actually. That's a cool art style. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. No, oh, uh, smoking's no bad for smoke. you. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> Okay, just checking. All right. My other friends I like that I can walk around during uh, the dialogue stuff. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just that's kind of Dumbass, take... come on. I vouched for you sight unseen and you're already acting super weird. And I appreciate the voucher. I do, and I'm not trying to seem weird. I just want two minutes alone. That's it. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, Why? can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say like whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway, we're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. Yeah, no, I want to hear what he has to say. Fine, Ren. Go on up ahead, and we'll catch up with you. Um. Okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. I mean, fast if this day. is a ghost story, I'll just be up the hill. We might as well get the splitting up over whatever. with early. It's Rain gonna happen. Seems nice. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is... That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Mm. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. So, hmm, did I... I didn't mean did to our hero lose a brother? It's, it's okay. okay. I didn't know. Huh, this guy see uh in jail. I wanna hear about this. I heard that, um I think from my mom that you uh went to jail. Yeah, well don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. That's cool, man. It's alright, don't worry about it. Don't feel bad. Hmm. Okay, so I do have some degree of 360 movement. I actually thought it was maybe just gonna be left and right. Seems pretty cool. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Oh, uh, I don't know what any of that means. But yeah, I, I dig this art style. It's it's kind of minimalist, but it looks very pretty. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade. Sure. Either one. Hmm. Let's check out this car. Oh, I see. There's little circles around things I can uh, look at. If nobody lives here and the stores are all closed. Whose car is this? 
Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Is there? Let's blow up this radio. I'm curious. Well, for a moment it seemed like I was getting something. Okay, nothing. Well, obviously, that's gonna come up later, because they wouldn't have that be dedicated to a button and have its own, have its own mechanic and everything if it wasn't gonna be important. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. 102.3? Okay. I think they said it's 102. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? War has changed. Jeez. Hell. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting in Satan or dinosaurs or something. Submarine casualty in a Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, yeah, 1940. Well, that's neat. So the radio gets you optional conversations. Parks that's that's pretty cool. Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Yeah, I like tall women. All right. Ah, I like short women too. I like all kinds of women and all kinds of people. Everyone's beautiful. Except me. <laughs> Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Oh, I wanna show up. Maybe I wanna buy an ornament or something. I can Hello, I kids. think I'm gonna like this. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, uh, speed read. They're not gonna be here, are they? Island. This is a tourist trap. They're gonna be shop, missing or dead or Nobody something. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. She's gonna try and murder us with an axe. And be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing uh, is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? Yeah, improper the acts and the Weirdo Caves. Is when you oh, yeah! It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. Oh. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're... No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. Oh, so of course. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Don't do it. Oh, Don't really? go to college. Yeah, Don't waste so your time. Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... <laughs> Just because oh Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. Yeah, what, what, what does that even mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. No, fuck you. Ren, why, why do you do care, about, care this? about this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're my friend, and I'll miss you if you go. That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. You dodging and they the don't fucking want you question. To anything. So yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. 
I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. The beaten path officially ends here. Oh, no. I... The beach is past uh... the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on I didn't what mean it to was. cut off the conversation. Not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Fuck. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got. Okay, I see, we got a map here. Cool. Over. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm actually really bummed out that I missed out on the rest of that conversation. Um. Well. Gotta do something with this. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Yay, puzzles! I'm not quite sure what we're doing with this, but I'm gonna keep pushing. Okay. Uh. I don't know what that accomplished. Oh, okay. I see. Weird. Uh, I... <laughs> okay, so far I'm taking this, but I'm a little annoyed with how easy it seems to be to interrupt conversations. Like, even when I'm picking my dialogue choices, it'll interfere oh, with the... Uh, before we get there, I should... I... Right, so do I want to go down or forward? I'm not sure. I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl and I'm totally into her and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. What's oh, that supposed okay. to mean? Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Yeah, leave him alone. Leave alone, Ren, alright? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... I... Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just so I'm not sure what those little thought bubbles enough, are supposed I'm to sure. mean. Does it mean wait. they approve? You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? I don't know if I like Clarissa, this Clarissa we... person. <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. Oh, I'm, I'm so hip. hip. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm so I'm hip. I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. That's and fair. And I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Hey, what about me? What about you? Wow. Fuck oh, you. I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing. Right? Yeah, we're going to do it. Right, guys? Yay! Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! Yeah, fake enthusiasm! Yeah! Let's do it! Yeah, this, I don't know, this Clarissa girl seems like an asshole. I mean, they're a bunch of teenagers, so they probably all suck. 
because, you know, if Until Dawn or Life is Strange taught me anything last year, is that teenagers in video games, much like teenagers in real life, are the worst. Game seems real cool, though. Seems like my kind of game, anyway. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Yeah, yeah let's get wasted. Where woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Aww. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hmm. That's sad. That's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than... Okay, I really like that I can do stuff, question, uh... Jonas, the thing to do during is lay on the dialogue. beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play Truth or Slap. Yeah, let's play that. Truth or Slap? We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it, uh, Truth or Dare? This is better than Truth or Dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. Yeah. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. Interesting. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot, then it's just a good hitting game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. Right, so let's do it first. We're gonna... I'll start. Red. I'm gonna win. Uh -huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, liar? I'm sorry. I shouldn't Ouch. have done that. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, I, I just feel kind of shitty. You can practically smell it on him. Can we just drop this, please? All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. Hush, this is for your honor. Watch and relish. Yay! <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. Yeah, everything's coming up, Alex, isn't it? Slap! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm it. the best. You had it in you. I win. Yeah. I'm the best at this game. Of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. In my victory lap. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the plot of Marissa. Clarissa. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So no, I don't. But nice try. Chris I don't know why out. I picked that Alex, question. You got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get yeah, divorced again. Just and don't be a the fucking fact asshole. is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's wow. put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't. I don't really need to know the situation. Before. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why would your parents get a divorce? Oh man! Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You Fine, let's why. tell the truth. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Fuck you. Okay, Clarissa. I hope you get what? killed. You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should... Like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we Fuck can... you. That's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, 
You be sure to just hey, let me know. Hey, Clarissa? Super. Get fucked. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? Morse code. You like bars on the windows. Interesting. Huh. Um, well, I know nothing about Morse code, Alex, so... Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Let's ditch these let's assholes. Yeah, come on. First, I want to go up here. I want to see what's up here. Oh, you know what? I can probably <laughs> look later. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never talked about ready. God. Oh, what? Their date? Yeah, he. Unless uh, I get a crank in my back, which <laughs> might happen you if you don't Jenny go soon. <laughs> I don't know. So what happened? They just—it was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks, and they like she wanted something like a named thing. Oh God. Yeah, like like a some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of, like, the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Of course that's how it went. Hmm. I was hoping I'd get something more juicy. When was the last time you were here? Uh, a year, so, two, the cave. two years ago. So, your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Uh, I'm gonna say five. Uh, probably a five? Weird enough to remember, but... Not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Okay, come uh, on. Let's let's not do the sexist jokes. Ren, I'm standing right here. Oh, you know I keep forgetting you're a girl. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine. Fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. I'm sorry. I am. I I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger. Yeah, you seem like a real charming guy. Bros, come on. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those <laughs> what? look like brownies. Brownies. No, don't. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too. Right? No, Jonas? no peer pressure. Mikomita, Stop. Mikomita? Don't uh, do it. No thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Don't do it. No, you fucking mm. idiot. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay. So here? How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Okay. What do I got? Oh, there's that Morse code again. Hmm. Oh boy. What? Holy crap! The fuck? Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How? How is this? How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. Doesn't make any sense. No, well, really it's just doesn't. crazy, Ben. Because I don't know. Something tells me a lot of this game's not going to make sense. Too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Hmm, there's a different frequency. That's interesting. This is so cool. Huh. I know. Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. 
Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She's a fucking asshole. The Fuck it. The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. <laughs> Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah. For the most part. Kind of? I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. The, the dialogue system in this actually is pretty good. It feels really natural. I, I, I dig that. If you want to bring it on over... Like, it's snappy. It's It's got a, a flow to it. Oh, okay. What's next? Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Yeah, it kind of painful. Like, painful? Yeah. Wait, what was that? Uh... Radio's not on right now. Uh-oh. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Maybe stay Famous away from words. that. Famous last words. No, I... I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies filled bat or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm, I don't know about this. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in. It's a bad idea, moment. and we shouldn't do it's it. Not good. But it's a video game, on, and this I is the plot, and we're going to do here. it. It's not that far. And I can't we'll stop it out. unless I stop playing. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> I can't do that. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> uh, Jonas, don't. Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. What? I think you mean brownie. I think you mean. Oh uh, yeah. God damn it, you idiot. Red. Hmm. Shona, Fana. Forget it. Hmm, can I get anything on the radio? It doesn't look like it. Aside from that, Morse code. Hmm. I feel like I maybe should look up what that is, but I don't know if it might be spoilers, so... Uh, maybe I won't. Anyway, I guess uh, next time on Cruise Control, we're going to enter the cave and... Uh, yeah, I can say I'm intrigued. The, the first half hour of this game's definitely grabbed me. I'm interested to see where this goes. Um... It seems really well put together. Uh, the dialogue system is pretty cool. Uh, I seem to be drawn to these teenagers do stupid things games, because, like I said before, Until Dawn and Life is Strange, I played both and enjoyed both. Um, uh, I guess we'll see where this one takes us. We even got a blue haired girl, just like Chloe. Well, it's a lot nicer than Chloe so far. Anyway, let's uh, we'll see what happens next, next time on Cruise Control. Thanks for watching.